pouring, pouring rain. It's Noah's Ark. The Ark is sitting at home. Woo! Look at the flooding. Oh my God. I hope all of you that went out snapper fishing today are having a good time and I hope y'all are back home or at least at the dock. This is the reason that I don't go snapper fishing or go offshore a lot and stay out there too long. I've been caught in this kind of stuff before and let me tell you, that ain't no fun. Ain't no fun. I was supposed to go tomorrow, but there's a front coming through and supposedly tonight it was supposed to blow upwards of 20, upwards of 20 knots, 10 to 15 at least, three to four uh, feet offshore and I canceled tomorrow because I told the guy, how nautical is your wife and your stepdaughter, 17 year old girl? How, how nautical are they? Because it's going to get nautical. The last time I went out and it was three to four foot with a five second interval, we got our asses handed to us in the ark. <laughs> Woo, man, I'm telling you. Look at this shit. It is a torrential downpour. It's called a free truck wash. Come on. Free truck wash. It needed it. Well, let me get out of here. This is just going to be a short one. I was thinking about y'all. Whew. I'm in here and I'm looking at this stuff and I'm saying, my God, am I glad I'm not at the boat ramp with 400 other people. So, either way, I haven't done a video in a couple, couple, three, four days or whatever. So I figured I'd show you one of the reasons that going offshore in a center console in the middle of summer ain't all that fun sometimes. Because if you stay out too late, this is what's going to happen to you. It's been lightning, it's been thunder, and it's flood and rain, and I'm sure it is. I only live five minutes from the boat ramp, and I'm sure it's just pouring at the boat ramp. And you get all these people trying to put their boats on the trailer all at the same time. I've learned not even to bother. I just try to tie off somewhere and run away. We got a pavilion at the boat ramp now. I guarantee everybody's probably standing around underneath it. So, uh, yeah, I'm not doing this. Two-day snapper opening today and tomorrow. And the Gulf of Mexico gets three months. And these people go ballistic. I was going to do a video of what it's like. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. Just to see how many people are parked two miles down the road like they used to. I want to see if $5 a gallon gas has slowed these people down at all. I doubt it. I was talking to them at the bait shop and they said, I don't think $10 a gallon would slow them down. So uh, this is the weather we're having in Jacksonville right now. And I am glad I ain't fishing. So I'll bid you all farewell, but whew, this is the kind of stuff you got to put up with. Oh, yeah, you know exactly how I feel right now? Well, I actually feel pretty good because I'm dry and I'm not sitting in my boat. I'm not sitting in my boat at the boat ramp getting my ass handed to me or coming into jetties or something like that. And then the worst part about it is then I got a clean fish afterwards. And you're sopping wet and my damn boots get all filled up full of water. So that's it. Wow! from the Jetty Bull Fish Camp and uh, thank God I ain't fishing in this shit.
so I'll talk to y'all later. I don't even know how to bomb out of this. Alright, I don't know.